to episode number 13 of Ask Ian. My name is Ian Westerman and I'm the head pro at EssentialTennis.com. Today's question comes to us from Facebook. Hugo wrote to me and said, Hi Ian, how can I mentally prepare myself before an important match? Well Hugo, ultimately my answer is going to come down to closely managing your expectations of what you think will or should happen during that match. It's always dangerous when we have certain things that we expect to happen during a match. And there's basically two polar extremes. One might be that you totally expect to win because maybe you're playing really well right now at this period in your, in your uh, career as a tennis player. Or maybe the person that you're playing you know right, is not very strong you know, in your eyes. Uh, or maybe you've beaten them many times before. And so you have this expectation of, oh, well, I'm, the, the match is in the bag. Before you even step out on the courts, we're, we're thinking, ah, oh, this is going to be an easy win. That's one extreme. And that's incredibly, incredibly dangerous because tip, well, usually what happens when we have that attitude going into a match is at the very first sign of adversity, you know, maybe we get broken uh, in that first set, or, you know, right away, uh, right off the bat, the first game. Uh, or maybe all of a sudden, you know, we expected them to be a really weak player and they're just fighting with us tooth and nail and they're just holding their, holding their ground really strongly during the match. When we, when we walk into a match with that expectation that we're going to dominate and then there's some kind of setback, it's human nature to start to panic and start to worry and start to have anxiety and say, oh no, what if I lose? If you've played many matches at all, I know that you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's human nature to go into a match with these expectations, and then when something happens that's outside of that reality that we thought was going to happen, all of a sudden we start doubting everything. And so that's when players a lot of times get tentative, they get tight, and our level of play drops because we start to get nervous, we start to um, have feelings of anxiety, and we're thinking, oh no. What, what's happening here? And our level of play drops. And those are the matches that are frequently the most frustrating to lose because we had this idea of what reality was going to be and it didn't end up being that way. On the other end of the spectrum is you know, looking at the draw and you see that you're playing the number one seed in the first round. And you say, well, I might as well just go home. You know, or maybe 